Hi, and welcome to M. Claire's Yoga Inspired Flow. Today we're going to do a fun flow, which we're going to work towards Firefly. We're going to really open things up a bit today and try and get into those really uncomfortable sort of areas and open them up so that we can feel really light and our body can move a lot more easily and have more flexibility and mobility with it. Okay, let's get started. Let's come on to all fours. We're going to come into our tabletop today. Like I said, we want to open things up, so we want to add some mobility into this. We're going to start off straight away. So we're going to add some wave-like motions. You can start off as big or as small. It feels best for your body today. Okay, so we're going to come back towards the heels round, tuck our chin towards our chest, come forward, tilt our tailbone and come back. And we're just going to add these lovely wave-like motions to really wake up the body. We really want to get as much mobility into the spine and the hips today. You know, if you've had a long week, you've either worked out really hard or you've been sat at a desk all week and you're feeling pretty stiff and not fluid, this is going to be a great workout for you. Okay, now we're going to add some circles here. You can bend your arms and really reach around or you can make this movement small or continue in the previous position whichever feels best and let's change direction really sinking those hips And last time round, then come on back into our tabletop. We're going to go forward and back, getting into the wrists. Coming over those wrists and then coming back towards the heels. Then come on forward and we're just going to move side to side. Not a big movement, but just really getting those wrists warmed up for today. Then we're going to add some circles as well here. Again, very small movement. Change direction. And then open your legs and come on back into child's pose, sinking your chest towards the floor. Then come on up, bring your knees together, tuck your toes and push yourself up into our first downward dog. Again, push through your hands, reach the chest towards the floor and try and get the heels down to the mat. We can add a bit of movement here as well. Just walking on the spot, just to deepen that stretch in the hamstring or hamstrings. <laughs> and then you can also just go side to side as well getting deeper into the hip joint. I mean, come forward into bear, push back into downward facing dog. Don't allow your knees to collapse to the floor. We want to just be a few inches above. 
engaging your core as we do this. And push back into our downward facing dog. Hold it here. And then we're just going to take a few steps forward to the front of our mat into our standing forward fold. You just want to become really nice and loose here, allowing the top half of your body just to sink towards the ground. You know, it's early in the practice, so I don't expect everyone to be super flexible. Then you can grab hold of your elbows and add a little rock here. And if you need to keep a bend in your knee, please do so until you feel those hamstrings loosen a little bit. And you can really accentuate your twists, going side to side, getting into the side body. And do this as fast or as slow as feels good for you. Come on back to the center. Again, place your hands on the floor. Bend your knees and then roll up slowly into our mountain pose. Ground your feet. Keep your hands towards the side of your body. Palms facing towards the front of your room. And I just want you to close your eyes here and really ground yourself. Taking a few deep breaths here. And just see where you are. Are you, when you're standing like this, do you feel grounded and balanced? Are you unbalanced? Is your mind all over the place? And let's just see where we are at the end of the practice. Then take your hands above over your head, reach up, bring your fingers together, interlace them, and let's add a slight back bend here. You don't have to go too far if this doesn't feel comfortable so early on, and just point your index finger upwards. Then bring your hands into prayer position. I'm just going to fold forward back down into our standing forward fold. And we're gonna do this a few times. Bend your knee, come on up. Interlace your fingers, come into standing back bend. Into prayer and fold forward into our standing forward fold. We're just gonna do this, like I said, a few times, just to really waken up the body. Go at your own pace. Let's do one more of these. Then place your hands on the floor. We're going to come down into our chair position, reaching our arms over the head, really sinking low with the hips. We're going to add a few little pulses here as well, just to really warm the body up and get these quads fired up. And bring your hands into prayer position. I'm just gonna add a nice twist here, bringing your left elbow to the right outside of the right knee and looking up towards the ceiling. And come on back to center, change sides. Come back, place our hands on the floor, and let's step back into our plank position and through our chaturanga. Coming into our upward facing dog, keep your toes together, push through your hands and keep your shoulders down. And then let's push back into our downward facing dog. Then 
and step forward with your right foot in between your hands coming into your high lunge pivot your back foot and then come on up into our warrior one you can either keep your arms apart hands together whatever feels best for you and try and keep the foot on the floor or the back foot <laughs> come on forward back into our plank through our chaturanga back to our downward facing dog and let's repeat on the opposite side step forward into that high lunge with your left foot in between your hands get the nice deep stretch and then you're just going to put your foot down and come on up into a warrior one And come forward, step back into plank, again through our chaturanga, upward facing dog, push back into our downward facing dog, breathe here, lift your right leg up behind you into our three legged downward dog, and we're just going to come forward, knee to nose, and then kick it all the way back up. Really feeling that lovely stretch in the back of the hamstring and in your calf. Last one. Then we're gonna step forward to the outside of our mat, coming into our lizard. Drop the back knee. Hold it here. And you can roll onto the outside of your foot as well to deepen the stretch. And if it's within your practice, you can also come down onto your forearms. Really opening up those hips now. Trying to sink as well forward so you can get that nice stretch as well in here, as well as in the outside of our right leg. And come on up. Reach forward and grab your right hand onto your left foot and just add this little quadricep stretch, trying to bring your heel towards your glute. Let go of your left foot, tuck your toe, come on up, hold here for a second as well, just for a deeper stretch. If you'd like to as well, just rock side to side, you can do. And then step back into our plank, coming through the Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and come back into our downward facing dog. And just see whether you can Get those heels a little closer to the mat or if you feel that flexibility increasing as we warm up through this practice. Then step forward with your left foot. Apologies, coming back. Sorry, lift your left leg into three-legged downward dog. And then we're going to come knee to nose. And then repeat. Last two and last one. And come on forward and bring your left foot to the outside of your mat into our lizard. And 
And again, you can roll over to the outside of the foot as well to deepen the stretch. And then drop that right knee to the floor. And if it's within your practice, come down onto your forearms. And then just relax into the pose, allowing all of those areas to really open up that we're holding the tension. Then come on up and then you're going to reach that left hand towards your right leg bringing your heel towards the glute and really getting into those quadriceps And then release that back leg, tuck your toe, and deepen the stretch for a second if it feels nice for your body. And then let's step back into our plank, come through the flow, down, upward facing dog. Make sure your thighs are off the floor, toes are together. You can just add a little neck movement here as well, if that feels good. And then push back into our downward facing dog. And you're gonna bend your knees and if you're ready, you can jump to the front of your mat. If you're not, please just take a few steps and meet me there. We come again into our standing forward fold. Open your feet, shoulder width apart, and you can get hold of your toes and pull your chest towards your legs. Or if you'd like to in your more advanced, you can place your palms underneath the soles of your feet and then also come into that lovely stretch for the hamstrings. And just relax into here. And come on out and all we're going to do is bring your feet together and we're going to slowly roll down onto the mat bring your left foot towards your right glute and bring your right leg over the top of your left leg and we're going to add a nice twist here bring your elbow to the outside of the knee and you're just going to push it in as you look over your right shoulder if you'd like to deepen this stretch you can also thread your left hand through that little hole and come into a nice bind And when you're ready, come on out and then change sides. And again, if it's within your practice, you can also thread your hand through and come into this nice bind. Then 
then come on out. Then we're going to place our feet into a malasana, wide-legged yoga squat. We're going to use our elbows to push out the knees. We're just going to rock side to side. Again, just getting into those hips. And you can also do a little movement like this if it feels good. Just listen to your body. Wherever you're holding that tension, then work with your body to relieve it. Like I said, if it's easier to go side to side, if that gets deeper into it, then do so. And if you're very tense here and you find this very difficult, just go slowly and just keep persevering with it until you're able to feel that release. You can just drop one knee in and then the opposite. And stay neutral now. And just breathe here, really using those elbows to push the knees out. And if you'd like to add that extra little twist here, place your hand down by your left foot and add the twist. Then come on back, change sides. Come back to the center. Then we're just going to roll down onto the mat, bringing the soles of our feet together and coming into a butterfly position. Holding onto your feet. The aim is to try and bring your knees down to the mat. This may be difficult for you if you are quite stiff here. So again, you can just work with your body. Also, adding a little bit of movement can sometimes help to open things up as well. So you can also just add this little bounce in to deepen the stretch. Or if that doesn't feel good, just stay stationary and try and bring your feet as close towards the body as possible. And then we also can just reach our hands forward and bend over our feet to get a deeper stretch. Or you can come down onto your forearms. Again, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Or you can even hold onto your feet as well and just pull your head towards the floor, using your elbows to push the knees out. Then come on up. And now we have, we're going to go into our fire log. So bring your left leg parallel to the length of the mat. Bring your other leg over the top, stack it on top of your knee, and try and bring your knee towards your foot. Now, if you need to, you can use your hand to push it down, just to help with that extra little bit of a push. If this is very hard for you, then don't worry. Just go wherever you are and stay on that little edge where you can feel it working, but it doesn't obviously injure you. You don't want to cause an injury now, but you do want to try and open things up. And if you are already feeling very comfortable in this position, again, you can come on over onto your forearms to deepen the stretch. And it's really important on these stretches just to hold a little bit longer to allow the body to release. You know, if we're rushing through it, we don't give the body that time where it's holding on to that tension to then allow it just to dissipate. So it is uncomfortable, but bear with it.
and then come on up if you're on your forearms. And then we're just going to change sides, putting our right leg parallel to the mat and then stacking our knee on top of the right knee and bring it down. And you might find that one side is much easier than the other to do or more difficult. <laughs> and again, you can just use your hands just to help push it down just while that stiffness is still there. Once it's sort of released a little bit or relaxed, then you can remove your hand and see if you can keep it down there without having the assistance. And if you'd like to deepen the stretch again, come forward onto your forearms and then just breathe through it. And really try and relax in these poses. I know that's easier said than done if you're very tight, but the more you allow your body to relax, the easier it is for the muscle to relax as well. If you're very tense and it's very difficult, you know, the muscles it doesn't really have much chance to give in either. And what we often find is we get to that place of real discomfort right before it releases. So we often just need to persevere, sit and try and relax to allow that bit of uncomfort to then subside before you get that really nice sort of feeling. If you're on your forearms, come on back up again. Undo your legs. Come back to the center of your mat. And we're just going to do some little windscreen wipers back and forth, dropping one knee to the outside and just allowing that muscle, or sorry, that joint just to relax a bit. You know, we sat in that pose for a little bit of time now, so you want to add a bit of movement back into it. So drop one, then the other, and just keep switching sides. Then come back into that neutral position. I'm going to do a little bit of rolls, and then come on up, push your chest up, look towards the ceiling. Just adding that mobility into the spine as well. last one and then just roll down one vertebra at a time we're going to come into a figure of four here or a revolved pigeon bring again your right foot to the top of your left knee you're just going to bring that left knee towards you bring your hands behind the back of your knee use your elbow to push push out the right knee and really bring that use your hands to pull that heel towards your face or your forehead and get that nice deep stretch as well in the hip. And then come on out. And then if you can, come into that eagle legs drop over towards the left side and you're just going to come into this nice spinal twist looking towards your left hand sorry your right hand as you reach towards the back of the room then come on back out then let's change sides Bring your left knee on top of your right, sorry, your left foot on top of your right knee. 
interlace your fingers behind your knee and then again push out that left knee and bring the heel to And then come on out and again if you can come into those eagle legs drop towards the right side look towards your extended right arm as it goes towards the back of the room and relax into this lovely spinal twist And when you're ready, come on out. Bring your knees towards your chest. Have a little rock back and forth. And then let's extend into our final position, Shavasana. This time, bring your soles of your feet together and we're going to actually finish our Shavasana in this butterfly position. And just breathe here. And just place your hands comfortably on your thighs. And then when you're ready, have one last nice stretch and then meet me at the center of your mat. And you can come into any comfortable position here. Thank you very much for joining me on this fun, funky fire log flow. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do feel a little bit more loose and mobile and ready to take on the rest of your day. If you did like it, please like and subscribe and please tell your friends so that we can grow the channel. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.